Hey guys, it's Sit Down Comedian Colin Craig here with a few more jokes for you. Um, so, one of the interesting things about having cerebral palsy is that you got this little hitch in your giddy up. You know, you get a little problem with your step. So, um, and I was thinking today, you know, I'm totally afraid of zombies. Totally afraid of zombies. It's one of my number one fears. And I think today I kind of figured out why. It's because I'm pretty sure that a zombie can outrun me. You know, they always got that dragging step. They slowly move along. Well, I see myself walking sometimes, and I get that just that same problem, you know? Like I don't lift my foot off the ground. And I'm pretty sure that I look like a zombie sometimes. So, you know, it's a little easier to be afraid of a mythical creature when something that doesn't even exist can move faster than you can. Um, speaking of moving faster than... I can, um, you know, a lot of times, what's the most important thing about a guy when he's trying to get up to meet a girl, right? He's trying to be smooth, confident. Well, it's a little hard to be confident when it takes you so long to get to the girl, you know what I mean? Like, if you're slowly moving up there, not to mention you're stomping around, and then, you know, you get this girl, and she has to have seen you by now, because you're making all kinds of noise. You better have one heck of a game, you know what I mean? You gotta be a fly guy. Because uh, if you're walking up there kind of like you, like, hey, 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 master, hey, you gotta be able to get this girl, man. So, I mean, yeah, it's totally hard to be pimp. Because, like, normally I need help getting down steps sometimes, like from the sidewalk. So, I'm always a little concerned, you know. I always got my hands out kind of like this, just like when the regular ground is never steady enough when you're just never sure that I'm gonna take a step and then just just fall right over yes yeah, it's, it's kinda hard to be a late man um, but that being said you know I'm just always trying to do two things I'm always trying to be independent I remember one time we were at a meeting I was actually at work and um, I'm carrying a chair, just just a chair, maybe one or two chairs even, across the store. And it's, this is just in the store because the meeting was in one corner and it was all the way in the other corner. By the time I had carried this thing, this little metal chair, all the way back to the area, you know, I go back to sit down I'm like, hmm, man, you know, I'm having a little trouble breathing. I had injured myself in the distance of, like, I don't even know, like, it's not, you know, that couple thousand feet. And I went through the rest of the day like that. I'm just thinking like, man, like, you know, I'm not even out of shape. People see me rolling around all the time. I'm just thinking to myself, God, you know, I hope I never have to have a kid. But if I ever have to have a kid, I'm just worried, you know, I'm going to be doing something with him. And all of a sudden, be like, hi, right, man, you want to play a little baseball? All right, here, let me throw the ball. And if it even gets to the bat, we're not even, not even worried if it's going to be, if it even gets to the bat, you know, that's great. But then I gotta try to get to the wall. Hold on, buddy. I, I, I got it. Like, I won't be pretending. They'll probably think, oh, yeah, thanks for letting me uh, score down. I'll be like, what? I'm, st I'm still trying to get to the ball. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Um, have a great night.